Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and I want to thank you for being here with me today on New Year's Day. First and foremost, if anybody reaches out to you, just please know it's not me. I do not reach out to people and say, hey, you need da, 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 uh, uh, this or that or the other thing. Just not me. Don't do, I don't get scammed. Um, I my website is t o n i g dot i n f o. If you want a reading or hypnosis or a healing, that is the place to go or to call my um, business number, which is also on my website. Um, and if you are calling in today, please be patient. I can only take one call at a time. And I will take that. I will let you know when to call in. And then I will take that caller. And then when I'm done with that caller, I'll let the next person know to call in. I'm really sorry. I'm not in control of blog talk. There's nothing I can do about that. We're just going to kind of muddle through whatever the way we can. And we've done this the past couple of weeks um, while blog talk is fixing their situation. We'll get through it again today, right? Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do names. I'm going to do the show like I always do. I'm going to do names. I'm going to do songs. And then I'm, I'm I might do a little channeling. Woo and then I will take some questions. Uh, this is the way I've always done the show. I'm going to continue to do that today. I have to tell you, this song has been in my head all, all morning. Okay, so it's, hey, sexy lady, <laughs> something, something, you've got me balling out of control. <laughs> I don't even know. I know we've all heard the song. I don't really know the song, though. <laughs> And uh, and again, my one and only warning, I cannot sing on tune, on beat, in tune, in beat, or at all. So I apologize, but this is the way spirit brings it through. The next song is all night long, all night, all night. I can't dance either, but it doesn't stop me. Just do things you can't do until you can do them. Now, there is a disclaimer with that. I will probably never be able to sing. <laughs> just That is not one of my gifts, and I am okay with that. I am so okay with that. Um, the next song. Okay, the songs. Let me, I just jumped right into songs there. The songs can be a, um, a song your loved one loved or knew. It reminds you of them. A song that answers your question or you love or know, it's it's just like a, a confirmation for you. The songs are confirmations for you. The next song is um, uh, Oh, the song comes through every single time. Oh my gosh, let me love you. I'm not even gonna sing it. I'm hearing a group, the fray. I know that's a group. I couldn't tell you what they sing, the fray. And then um, that song, I'd give up forever to touch you, something, and it, you feel the same way. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, don't stop now. They're waiting. I'm trying to get to the chorus, everybody. I, 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 if you know that song, put it in the, the chat. Um, I'm sorry. I, I think that song, I'd give up forever to touch you. I think those words, if you know that song, you know that song. I think that is part of the chorus, though. It could be part of the chorus. <gasps> it could be. It just might. Okay, the next song is... Um, um, oh, that song just makes me cry. I can't even sing it. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, 
I can't even hear it. It just makes me cry. It's by Eric Clapton. <laughs> Here in Heaven by Eric Clapton. <laughs> that song just that song just makes me cry. I mean, I can't even hear that song just makes me lose my I can be like in the best space and that song will take me like, because it says, and I know I don't belong here in heaven. Like, and I know that song was written for his uh, very young son that passed away. So that song is so, yeah, Eric Clapton, Tears in Heaven. Thank you, Aloha J. Tears in Heaven. Oh, do not listen to that song until you have a moment to listen to that song. Okay, the next song is um, Brass Monkey. <laughs> Monkey Junkie. I, I know most of these words are wrong, but if you know, you know. <laughs> Oh, the Beastie Boys are so funny, though. Aren't they funny? The Beastie Boys are freaking hilarious. They're, their songs are just so funny. For the era that they, for the time frame that they came out to, to do that music and do it, <clears throat> excuse me, in such a funny way. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, the next song is um, by LL Cool J, or just, just they're just saying LL Cool J, and I'm hearing the song, Round, Round, Round Away Girl, Round the Way Girl, Round the Way Girl. Uh, the next song is by, oh, I'm not, it might not be songs, it might just be the artist or the group Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, I could not tell you not one of his songs. If I heard his song, I would probably know it. I wouldn't know it was Lil Wayne. But um, somebody, you know what we have? And then I'm hearing Young Thug. Okay, this is for one specific person. All these groups are for one specific person. I, fe I feel like, maybe not, but I feel like somebody, somebody who just, who maybe recently went home, this was their genre. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go to names now because I just had a flash of something that happened and it possibly happened over the weekend, but we're... Okay. If somebody lost somebody, and I have goosebumps coming up my, coming up my legs into my soul, that's not a song. Anybody would know because I'm just making it up as I go. Um, I, f I feel like over this weekend that there may have been a pew pew. I can't actually say the words because my show will get flagged and taken down like Charlie Brown. Um, topics like this make me nervous and I get really ridiculous when I try to talk about super serious topics. Um, because I try to stay composed. So I'm not making light of what happened. I'm just trying to get through what happened. I feel like this weekend there might have been some pew pew, pew pew going on. And um, for whomever this, this is for probably more than one person went home this weekend due to the pew pews. I feel like this had a lot of, um, a lot to do with that life, if you will. And the feeling from whomever this is, is also coming in. So, um, And then I'm hearing the song, I'm in love with a thug, with a thug, with a thug. <laughs> Thank you, I needed that. <laughs> Thank you, I so needed that right now. Um, 
And they're just uh, one of the, I feel like this is a male coming through. He was a little bit bigger. Big boy. Um, and he's saying, Mama, you were right. Mama, you were right. Mama, you were right. Um, and that I, it was, I, I wasn't ready. It wasn't supposed to be my time. Well, you know, F-A-F-O. Um, if you're about that life, if you're about that life, sorry. Um, one of the things that's coming through from this person is, um, if I had, I'm not going to be able to talk like they're talking, but if I had to do it all over again, I hope I would make better choices, but probably not. But I get the feeling this person is trying to say that their mom, their moms, their moms really tried to save them. Their moms really tried to pull them out at every turn, at every turn their moms was pulling them out. I am going to say this. This person has very dark skin and their hair is like dreaded or, or braided. And um, I would never use the word dreaded because I'm not even sure what that means. So that must be a fact. Um, at some time, sometimes their hair was like that and then other times not, but they were like kind of a big boy too. They were kind of a big boy. Okay. We're going to let that go now. And there was, I feel like some people that might've been innocent that were victims in this whole weekend shyat show. And I, I, my heart goes out to everybody involved. Okay. Now I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to names. We're going to Gerard, Dwayne. <laughs> okay, let me finish first, folks. Let me tell them what the names are about. If you're new to the show, welcome to the no longer, I, I am no longer in control of my mouth show. <laughs> welcome aboard. Um Names could be the names of loved ones on the other side. It could be your name, their name. It could be um, a name of somebody you, you both you both know. Okay, so the first name uh, we already did two of them: Rico, uh, Santiago, um, Jesse, Jesse, Jesse J, Jesse. Come on, folks. I don't even know now. They're all like, there's this big group of people hanging right here that are like, um, yeah, okay. Maria, um, one, again, I'm hearing Wayne, like Dwayne, Wayne. Lil Wayne, all, all of that is coming through. So you know what? We're just going to, we're going to go into some, a different aspect of the show now. I'm going to go to the next part of the show, which is the channeling part of the show. Not that these names are not important or not, um, not needed. I'm just going to go to the next point. And then when I take callers or answer questions online, whoever um, everybody wants to talk to is who we will talk to and where we will go. Okay, here we go. I'm going to channel just a bit for the new year. And I think what's going to come through today is a little bit about <clears throat> how to create your new year how to have your best new year. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. If you're ready, I'm ready. Okay. As you enter into this new year, it is imperative for you to know that everything is within your controls and your confines. There are no exterior controls over you. The only controls that are there are the ones that are in your mind. This is past programming, past beliefs, past teachings. 
we are asking you to look at things in a new way. If you've always done something in one way, we are asking you now to do it in a new way. We are asking you to have a new thought. If you've always uh, uh, gone to work and been at work and this no longer fits you, find a new way. Find what does fit you. We are asking you to, to don't believe we are asking you to have a new belief on how things can work we are asking you if you've had this belief and it's always gotten you or taken you to the same place with the same result to change the belief itself and as soon as you change the belief of this is how it's supposed to be done this is how i should do it this is how life is as soon as you change that belief everything within you every ounce every cell every molecule will start to change in the direction of you doing it in a new way automatically without even trying many uh Give me a second. I'm so sorry, everybody. Many who have changed the world, many who have changed their life and the lives of many others have just formed a new belief, which formed a new program, which formed a new way of living. These are the ways for prosperity. I'm so sorry, everybody. Every time they say a word, like I'm like, does that make sense? Instead of just letting it flow today. I don't know why I'm so in my head about the channeling. I really am sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like try to go just a little bit deeper and let them continue. I seriously do apologize. As you start with a small belief, something like maybe I need my coffee every morning to get going. Maybe you say, I need this instead, honey, instead. And you have a new belief and you start to change your beliefs incrementally. Every belief will incrementally change uh, automatically without you doing anything about it. Prosperity is yours. Prosperity was always yours. You were put here to have a happy, harmonious, the struggle and the suffering is caused by the choices that you make. And you argue with us and say, it's not my choices. It is the choice of what happens or who came in and they did this and they did that. We did not tell you to stay with them. We did not tell you to stay in a situation where somebody is not uh, bringing a harmonious situation. Having that experience is an experience. You can have that experience for however long you choose. If you go to work every day and begrudgingly there is a boss or a co-worker that is annoying, walk away. Walk away. First, find something different, but to walk away. It is your choice to not tell somebody to please walk away. It is your choice to not walk away. And you may say, but we need the security. We need the money. There is plenty of other positions. There are plenty of other monies. And there are positions with even more money than what you are bringing in now. But you choose to stay. And in choosing to stay in situations that do not make you happy is where the misery comes from and the suffering comes from and the unhappiness comes from. You were put here to create and co-create. If you are in a situation where you are mundane day after day after day after day after day after day after day doing the exact same thing, you of course that it's not why your soul is here. That will not fulfill you. Now, maybe you have to have the position at work where you are going every day and doing the same thing. But then after work, in your time of not working, you must find things that allow you to create. Sitting down in front of something and watching it for hours on end is not, it is not what is going to bring you fulfillment. In your times when you are not being paid to do a certain task, you must be being in yourself to create the task, to create what you want to be in that space. 
of everything that you want. It is your choice to start something new and to have the belief that the something new will work and it will be prosperous and it will continue or just to do it because you want to know if you can do it. To just to do it to want to know that it can go forward and then to move forward with it. So for the new year, for this year, we ask you, one belief at a time, challenge them. Allow them to become new knowings instead of old beliefs. Most of your beliefs were taught to you when you were very, very young by watching your family dynamic, by listening to what people said, watching what they did, and then you picked it up like a program like a habit, like this is the way life is supposed to be. That is the way life was supposed to be for them. You were supposed to forage your own way. Okay, guys, that's what we have for the channeling today. Whew, I hope you enjoyed it. Can everybody hear me okay? I just want to make sure everybody can um, hear me okay. I feel like you can. Okay, I'm going to take the first caller, and I'm as soon as I get the first caller, then um, everybody, when I take the second caller, then the next person who wants to call in can call in. The number is 414-897-2869. Again, the number is 414-897-2869. Go ahead and call in. And the first person who gets through is the person I will take first. I know there are some questions in the chat. In between um, callers, I will take chat. Okay, this is, uh, hey, Jay, welcome to the show. How are you? Good, how are yourself, Tony? Hey, welcome to the new year. Hey, happy new year. Yeah, if I didn't say that to everybody, happy new year. How are you, Jay? Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm just uh, looking forward to this uh, year of great, well, it's going to be chaos, as you know, but uh, I'm grateful for the mirror, uh, messages from Spirit because I, I, I really wanted to, uh, you know, find out what Spirit had to say for all of us right now on this journey for 2024. Okay, so I think some of the channeling really, um, really took care of that. One of the things I'm getting for 2024 that's going to be really important, and I think most of my people do not do this, but turn things off. <clears throat> oh, yes. Most I know most of my people already do that. Everybody that I talk to, we don't watch, you know, the TV hardly at all unless it's something empowering and beautiful and creative we don't uh do do a lot of that but the biggest thing i'm getting this year is not only to turn off things like that but to to uh, unless of course if you're on tv watching my show on tv because you know i air on very many channels that's okay you can watch for that <laughs> otherwise <laughs> But otherwise, like even turning off the words and the thoughts and the programs of others, this is the year and in the first month, this is the time to really figure out how do you want life to look and to run forward with that. So I'm going to I'm going to say this and Jay, thank you for asking this. We're going to do a clearing and I did a clearing, a couple of clearings on TikTok this morning. So please go and enjoy those. One was for, I think like the new year, letting go of anything holding us back for the new year. But right now I'm going to, I'm going to do this. And this is a big one. So everybody as when I start to say it, just take a really big, slow, very slow, deep breath in and then, you know, hold it. And when I finish saying it, let that breath go and tell me if th that makes a difference in how we do this. So I'm going to start saying it now. Let's clear any old programs and thoughts and beliefs 
that no longer serve our path and our highest good. Okay, you can release that and here we go. All that caused all that caused and kept this has been cleared here. We're going to take all of that out. We're going to push it away. We're going to pull it completely out of us. And then I'm going to do a second one. We are now creating beliefs, programs that are in alignment with our path and our goals. So we're going to clear that to a yes. And we have everything we need to do this. I get a yes. <laughs> of course we do. So I'm going to strengthen that. I'm going to strengthen that. And, you know, Matthew, who is, uh, he listens, he's working right now, but Matthew is a really avid listener of the show. And he's also a client. And Matthew um, Matthew did a, a session the other day and he said, um, hey, Tony, can you make sure my my God center, my God code, whatever you call God, source, creator, don't let one word mess this up for you, is, you know, activated in place and as strong as it can be. So let's do that one right now. Also, uh, we're going to make sure everybody is fully activated with their inner knowing, their inner God, their inner, uh, their inner self or higher, whatever you want to, I don't care what you call it, please don't let a word, um, like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. I can't put that away for this year, like, get rid of that right there, get rid of being hooked on, oh my God, they used a word I didn't like, just get rid of all of that, oh, the top of my head is tingling, everybody, <laughs> and here we go, um, what, you know, when I was growing up, <laughs> and please uh, don't come at me, but <laughs> if you grew up in my era, there was no, like, <laughs> one of the things that my mom said to me all the time was, words don't hurt, people do. So if you hear a word, just ignore it, like, unless somebody, like, puts hands on you, just walk on, just walk on. So. um here we go. And we need that. We need to know that like a word or a statement can't take us down. Because if if a, if a, that means other people can control you, if a word, if a statement, especially if somebody says something unintentionally and it takes you down, that means everybody has control over you and you don't have control over yourself that anybody at any time can take you down over a, a, a word or a statement and don't let that happen. Be We have to be so strong within ourselves that that doesn't happen. Okay, so those are the clearings and clearly the channeling that's coming through. And Jay, um, the other thing they would want to say with this year is they don't care what it is if, if you have not, and whether this is for you personally or somebody else listening, start something on the side, a hobby, a business, a project, start it on the side, get your mind into that place of creation because you never know where it's going to take you. Whew. Okay, Jay. That's what I have yeah, for you. Yeah. Well, I'm grateful for that. You know, I'm starting, well, I've been starting something on the side. I actually celebrated my first year of actually creating a grief newsletter. It's awesome helping out people that way. And, um, you know, I've got some other projects going on regarding fixing other things. So, but, uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's just the on the sideline. I'm actually thinking about that. Seriously, but thanks for, for the confirmation. Probably, maybe the message was from my mom, maybe, probably, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what I want to say, too, is, you know, allow things to expand and grow. Don't be afraid of growth. Let everything grow. Um, and if you're doing something, collaborate with others. You don't have to t give them what you're doing, but um, maybe collaborate or look at what others are doing and see where you can grow from there. Okay. Yes. 
Thank you, Jay, so much, and Happy New Year. Many blessings to you, too, and grateful for your wisdom always. I was grateful to listen to this today. It was really awesome. I really, really appreciate it, and keep out there, too. And welcome to the New Year, everybody who, who's listening to the show, too. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jay. Happy New Year until Wednesday. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to answer Michelle's question and then I'm going to take another caller. So please um, hold on. Don't call in yet. Um, but um, I've been hearing a lot of songs. Michelle Lee says, I've been hearing a lot of songs uh, that remind me of my brother. I think he's been with me this last week. Yeah, Michelle, you know what? Absolutely. Um, absolutely. One million percent. And near the holidays, they do. They come in so strong and they hang out with us. I'm hearing the name Ronaldo. I don't I don't believe that's your brother. I'm just hearing that name for somebody out there. I'm going to tell you, uh, your brother is always around you. But over the holiday, because we're thinking so much more of them, we see the signs and we get the signs so much clearly. In our normal day to day, we might not be thinking so much of them. And this goes back into, I'm going to say this, I'm going to turn this into another um, creation message. Around the holidays, when we really think of our loved ones on the other side, we get those we get those messages, we get those signs, we get those songs, we get those confirmations, and we see, feel, hear them more in through through music, through um, nature, through whatever it is. It's the exact same <clears throat> when we're working on our future. So if we're working on, <clears throat> excuse me, if we're working on or focusing on or thinking about a project, a creation, uh, something, a business, um, whatever it is, it's going to come to us. It's just, it's going to come flooding into us, come flooding right into us. Um, and uh, so, yes, Michelle, he's always around. You're just picking up on it more now, okay? I want to remind everybody, uh, February 2nd, 2024, I am going to be in Daytona at the Cinematique doing an event, a show, answering your questions, connecting you to loved ones on the other side. We'll be doing clearings. I'll be, I'll bring some, I'll have some of my, um, I'll have um, some of my books with me. So I can, you know, if you have a book, one of my books and you're attending, you can bring it and I will um, sign it for you. This is uh, What If, a transformational guide. And this page says, uh, what if your magic can and does change the world? Are you using your thoughts and words to change it for the better? I love that. <laughs> and I can say that because this whole book was channeled. This whole book was channeled. I want to read that again because it's it's amazing that I just, these pages are not even numbered. And you guys saw, I just flipped it to like a page. And it says, what if your magic, and we all have magic in us. We are magic. We are the magic. You are the magic. It's how you're using your magic. Are you letting it sit dormant? Are you running away with it? Are you creating every word we say is a spell that we cast? Every thought that we think is a spell. Think about it that way. And not in a do sorcerer sort of way, but every time we think something, all of a sudden the universe starts to organize to bring it to fruition. Okay, so you are the magic and you are putting you out there, your words, your thoughts, your actions out there. And this is, you know, I need reminders on this too, folks. I do, I need reminders on this. Okay, I'm gonna read this one again, one more time. What if your magic can and does change the world. And it does. Again, 
whatever you're putting out there is whatever is coming back. Um, are you using your thoughts and words to change it for the better? Okay. So the way this book was designed is that you can write your, la, 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 la. You, you read the question and then you write um, what you, come on, page, turn page, <laughs> turn the page. You write your answer. But I always tell everybody, the first time you go through the book, and this is an amazing book for couples, families to go through together and get perspectives. You find out a lot about the way people view themselves and the world with this book. But because it's a transformational journey, just because they think that way the first time, it doesn't mean they're going to feel or think that way the next time they read it. So the first time, write it in a different notebook. And then the second or the third time, you can write it in this book, because by that time, everything will be different. So the what if is, if this is true, how would I do things differently? And then just start doing that. Okay. I'll have my books with me. So February 2nd, <laughs> February 2nd at the Cinematique in Daytona. And I, I want to say, I'm really honored and blessed and, and just, just so grateful to be there. And then I've had some clients from Canada and other places say they might fly in to see me there. And that that just overwhelms me with so much joy and love that I, like I know they're coming for the work and we're going to do work on that day too during the show we're going to do work and we're going to we're going to connect and I'm going to answer questions and it's it's going to be beautiful and amazing I just I can feel it okay um okay Michelle I hope that's helpful I really do um uh, so many people are in the chat. Hey, Karen, how are you? So if you'd like to call in and ask a question, 414-897-2869. Again, I'm going to take the first caller and then I'll let you know when to call in again. And again, hopefully, you know, I had shows set up through mid, mid January in blog talk. And I noticed that my, my next two weeks worth of shows are gone. And maybe that's because it's not going to be fixed until like my next show that I, that I scheduled is the 15th. And I thought I, of course, I set up shows for the, you know, twice a week um, until the whatever date. But I went on this morning and I'm like, wait a minute, what what happened to my next two weeks worth of shows? So I don't know if that's their prediction date for getting things fixed or what, but I'm going to go on today and put in the rest of my shows. 414-897-2869. Happy New Year, Anne. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, let's see. Uh, blah, la, 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 la. Isabella. Hey, Isabella. Hi, Tony. Happy New Year. Does my dad, Doug, have any messages for me in 2024? Yes. Isabella, and please let me know if this makes sense as I'm saying it. <clears throat> the first thing I'm hearing is um, let them love you. Let, let love find you. Let them love you. So if you've been putting off or pushing away love, on some level, your dad is saying it's time to uh, fix that. So you know what I'm going to do right now, another healing or clearing anything stopping or blocking us from accepting and giving love equally. Uh, we're going to clear, heal, release that along with all that caused and kept it. And these are past hurts. Typically, we put a, a little guard up that causes all these past hurts. And so we need to now take that down, clear it out, 
and have it be, <clears throat> oh my goodness, <clears throat> released from us and have it go. Whew. Hey, Amy, hold on. Hey, Amy, what's up? <laughs> hey, how are you? Good, good, good. I keep forgetting to put it on speaker. I'm so sorry. Hey, Amy, what's go Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So how, what, what do you have for me today? What can I answer for oh, you? Um, I've been curious if my sister-in-law, Chris, Christine has any, um, had anything for us. Or yeah, if you I know what? should just stop trying to talk to her. Because <laughs> no. the last few times I feel like she didn't really have much. No, that, you know, after a while, when somebody's on the other side for a little bit of time, um, you have to ask them new questions. Uh, their, oh. their thing is, I'm not going to keep having the same conversation with you, just like they would in here. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so if you've already asked them in some way, they have answered. Whether you accepted that answer or not, that's on you. That's how okay. that's how they say it to me. Like I asked my mom questions and my my Max and Bella, who were my little furless babies, and then my friend Jer Bear, I asked them questions all the time. And if I'm asking them the same questions, they literally do this, Amy. I hope you're watching the screen. They literally go. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not. I don't. I can't see yeah. the screen because I'm on my phone. But okay, well, they literally just are like, really, really, give me something new. And at some point, they want you to get out of you questions and go into expansion questions. And I, expansion for you questions. and okay. everybody listening, this is so important. If you're still asking your loved one, like, do you still, do you miss me? Are you still around there? Let me answer that for you. They are always with you. You're taking a poop on the toilet. <laughs> they're sitting there going, yeah. And by the way, you know, they're right. They're there. They're, they're watching you take deuces dude they're they're with you in your deuces okay they are there there there's no place else for them to be and that's the thing everybody thinks heaven is this place that is you know beyond the stars and in a way it is but it is not it intersects with us and their energy is all encompassing they can be with you and me and the other person at the same time Oh, this is a lot of channeling. Folks wow. know I'm channeling right now. Now, at some point, they want to answer questions about expansion and the world and, and where can I go? What's the best way for me to do my business? How can I... How can I do this? How can I do that? What what can I, this is where they want to go with you so that we can change the world. So if and when we reincarnate, we come, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you this. Let me tell you this. When I heard this statement, it shooketh me. I, I was shook. I was shooketh. I was <laughs> If you believe in reincarnation, if you don't, it's okay. I'm not about changing anybody's belief or anybody's mind. It comes to you when it comes to you. And if it comes to you, and I'm not saying that that just because I'm saying this, it makes it real or true. Okay? Whether I come back or whether it's just the lineage of my nieces and nephews that have this world. Either way. But where you what where you leave off is where you begin. So when I heard that statement, I understood it to mean that if there's reincarnation, wherever I leave this world, however I leave this world, whatever I've done to this world is what I'm going to drop right back into. Wow. Boy, did oh, I clean shit. up my life after that. I was like, no. Let me swim to the shore now. Let me get out of the drowning water and the illusion and let me get serious about poop now. Yeah, because if that is true. Now, here's the bigger thing. I have nieces and nephews I absolutely adore. I just oh, I could just mm, hug them and love them forever. Um, 
and they're going to have children and they're going to have children. So whatever I do now, it's the ripple in the water. Whatever we are doing now, we're rippling the water for them. And it's not like if I'm a bad person, they're going to pay my bad car. No, 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 no. Get out of that thinking. Put, put that in the garbage, you know, put it in the big garbage bag and let them take it to the dump because get out of that thinking. This is the way we think from this moment on. All the good that we do will expand, okay? And all of the, 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 the how, we, how we perceive the world and the, the actions that we take to, oh my God, this is going to be so mind. I love this statement about to come out. How we perceive the world, good or bad, and the actions that we take towards that are what we are creating. So if so many people tell me this is a, pl a place of H-E-L-L, -L, I don't feel that way. I don't. I feel like this is, this is a place where we get to, uh, it's a freaking playground where we can... We can jump in and we can play and create what we want. Now, we can create good. We can create bad. We can create destruction. We can create love. What I'm going to say to you is what you're perceiving and wh where you're going, whatever that means for you, is also what you're leaving behind or if you believe in coming back, coming back to. And that is something that when I heard that, the first time I heard that, I did everything I could to start creating this existence that would be good for my, you know, nieces, nephews, and all of their children. And if I do, you know, happen to come back on this plane, that it will be a better place. Now, let me explain this. We can come back to this plane and have, and I'm just going to use names that, that people kind of, I, I'm going to try to do this in a way that is very understandable for everybody. We can come back and have a life of, of ease, or we can come back and have a life of, of, um, whatever. So, so, and this could go, I could do like literally three hours on some of the people who are higher up in power right now. I have to be very careful not to get flagged. And what their next thing might look like. Um, but let's not go there. Let's just go us. We can come back and be placed in a place of comfort and ease or a place of discomfort and ease. And that is not because we are, you know, leaving bad things necessarily behind. It's all in intention. What was, was it your intention to harm or was it your intention to help? And in that intention of putting good out and doing good, and that doesn't mean leaving all of your, you know, whatever. It means in my heart, I truly meant and I truly loved. That's it. I mean, if I could break it down to the simplest thing, in my heart, with my soul, I truly loved and I truly cared. That's it. We are human and we will have those moments where we, uh, you know, say, you know what? I hope you trip over your shoelace and fall on your, well, I don't even want to finish that statement because I know my words have power. And one time before I realized how powerful my words were, somebody did end up in a hospital after something I said. And after that, I learned to shut my mouth. 
<laughs> Just don't cross me, folks. That's all I'm saying is don't, don't cross. I'm kidding. I would never, I didn't even realize at that. But what I'm saying is our words and our intention have so much power. And we have to be in that space where we are only creating what we want and F everything we don't. It doesn't exist in our world. Somebody Fs us over, they don't exist in our world. Move on to what you want. When we hold on to what didn't work, we're stuck in that what didn't work. When we can just say, okay, that that no longer exists in my world. I'm I'm doing the men in black mind wipe and I'm moving. I'm only going to Think about what I do want, okay? I'm only going to think about what I do want. And in those moments, those things will start to envelop you and take you on a whole new ride, a whole new journey into a whole new future. Okay? So I'm going to, does that make sense, Amy? <laughs> Does that help? I know you called to ask about your your sister in law, and then this whole big channeling came uh, out. Yeah. Well, I'm not. I mean, so I guess I, I don't know if the question would be um, in order to achieve this, like the advancement that I'm looking for. Kind of like, do I need to reconcile with some family members? And no, if no, I no, do. No. No, that's no, that's not even a thing. Okay. No, here's the thing. It's no, I, and let me. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my God, I love you, Amy. I love you. Oh, thank you. Because this is what people think. This is what people think. It's what I would think, and then spirit would go boom on my booty, boom on my booty. Listen, no, that's not it. It's never about another person. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Take it. No, 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 Amy. Think about that. It's never, ever about another person. It's always about us. So right here, right now, I'm going to, we're going to, the angels are going to come in or whatever you believe in is going to come in and we're going to clear, heal, release all inner conflict. I can already feel it. Take all inner conflict, clear it, release it, all that caused and kept it, clear it, release it. Now, here's a thing. We're not at war with another person. They're not even thinking of us. They're moving on having their latte patate. They're moving on having their, you know, their 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 chicken and I can't say that on air. They're they're moving on having their whole life. They may never ever think of us again. It's in our mind of I feel this about this situation. I feel bad because I'm in conflict. I feel guilt because this isn't harmonious. It's all what you feel inside of you. It's the inner conflict that will, as long as we have that and we feel that, it's either going to hold us back or propel us forward. We are not meant to be having everybody in our life for our whole life sometimes, either because of what they did or maybe because of what we did. We're not put down here as saints as as we never ever make a mistake as a matter of fact part of being here is having the experience of a mistake or saying something so that we don't judge others when they do because we there's not one person that has not i'm just going to use the word mistake has not made mistakes has not said or done something that they look back at and say man I could have handled that better and here's the thing that's where you know you grew because you can look back at it and you can say maybe I didn't handle that maybe I didn't say it the right way maybe I shouldn't have said anything maybe I should have done it but that's when you know okay I've learned and I've grown and that's what it's really about so the conflict is inner conflict. And once all the inner conflict is cleared, there's no external conflict. And if we can have enough people on this plane clear their inner conflict, we will have a plane of peace. And people think, 
Now, let, people think, oh, it's about, I keep hearing this, we're going into a new world, we're going to 5G. We weren't put here to try to get here. Okay, I'm sorry for everybody who is believing this. It's okay. You can have that. We were put here to make this. We were put on this plane with the ability to create love and light and happiness or not, and then live in what we create. Not to think, oh, this place is a total disaster and I need to get out of it. Because if it's a total disaster, that is what we created and we need to fix it. And we fix it in the mind. We get rid of inner conflict because, again, once we get rid of this inner conflict, which comes from guilt, which comes from shame, which comes from all these things. And let's clear all of that all the emotions holding this with us. Let's clear it. And then we hold on to it. We literally hold on to this because we think if we hold on to this, it won't happen again. I'm protected. I'm not going to let this go because this is going to remind me to never let this happen again. It's like when you have a partner that cheats on you, you hold on to that for dear life. So it never happens again. But instead, because that's what you're thinking, that's what you're bringing. And our thoughts have to be on only what is good and what we want. Okay, does that help? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So no, you the, the short answer is no, you don't have to, you don't you don't have to make peace with them. You have to make peace with yourself about it. You have Whoa. to be at peace with where you are in the situation and then everything else will fall into place okay cool okay and some people that hurt us they're not supposed to be allowed to be in our life some people that are unhealthy for us are not supposed to be allowed in our life okay sometimes uh -huh. and uh, this um this 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 russian guy said this to me once and it, I never thought about it this way and it it literally changed the way because I always thought it's my responsibility that everything is my fault I need to fix everything and he looked at me and he said but Tony sometimes the lesson is theirs sometimes they need to learn the lesson and you apologizing for something you didn't do wrong isn't allowing them to learn the lesson making peace in a situation where they have not brought peace to the table and they will com continue to have conflict is not allowing them to learn their lesson and the one of the most detrimental thing you can do to another soul is deprive them of their lesson and evolutionary process. Because in order to evolve, we have to stop our jackassery and learn and move up. And if we don't stop, if we don't learn the lesson from our jackassery, like behaving badly because everybody else is coddling us and telling us it's not bad or trying to work overtime to make it work, then guess what? We're never going to evolve. Okay, Amy, on that note, I have like 60 wow. seconds left. And then, so I'm going to I'm gonna disconnect you now. I love you, girl. Thank you so much love for calling too. in. Happy New Year, my friend. Happy New Year. So I, Amy and I know each other outside of this also. Amy's an acupuncturist. She's amazing. And so thank you, Amy, for those amazing questions. And Jay, th my everybody today, thank you for allowing me to elaborate on everything. I love you so much. I'm going to be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, and and just let's let's start this new year with new thoughts and new ways of being. I love you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.